Welcome into the John Stoltrager Show. I'm Joe Wamba, joined with swimming head coach John Stoltrager. And coach, you guys go out to King's College over the weekend and get a handedly solid victory over uh, King's College in the women's side of the meet. Yeah, it was a good meet. Um, the kids swam really well, both guys and girls, which again is exciting, but they swam smart and they, they're starting to get some of the things that I'm asking them to do. Um, you know, as far as like how they swim their races and and the results that we want to get. It's not always about wins and losses and swimming, which is a little different than like football, which congratulations to football for, for winning the MAC championship and congratulations to the women's volleyball team for their MAC championship and, and their run in the NCAA championship. Um, but it's not always about wins and losses for us. It's about how you swim and, 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 and how you actually um, come back from, you know, a hard week of work. And you mentioned that term, they swam smart. What does that mean? <laughs> well, I'll give you an example in like maybe the 200 breast or the 200 free. Um, there's you, you get splits and your first split should uh, obviously from a dive be decisively faster than your next three splits. But the next three splits should be pretty even as far as, mm -hmm. you know, your race goes. An example, if you're doing the two free and you take it out in 27 flat, should come back somewhere around 30, 30, 30. Okay. And if you swim like that, then that's a smart race. If you don't and you take it out in, I'll say, 26 flat, and you come back in 30, and then 33, and then 34, that's you, you didn't swim your race the right way. And we've had some kids this weekend, like um, Julie and Jack-Jack, um, they both swam their races in the two breast perfect for the time that they did. Now, as a coach, would you want them to swim faster? Absolutely, because you mm -hmm. always want that. But they swam the race exactly how they needed to, to swim it to go those times. And that's the evidence of them buying into your philosophy and program, and those, that buy-in will lead to uh, execution in competitions and the MAC tournament. Right. Now that I have these splits and these times, I can actually kind of push them a little bit and say, okay, instead of going out in 33, let's go out in 31.5. And – Let's see how the body reacts to that and see what your splits are in the back end and see if, okay, we need to back off a little on the front end or we can actually go further. So swimming a smart race helps me help them, you know, figure out, you know, can we actually go faster and where do we need to go faster? Now let's uh, turn our sides. We talk a lot about the women's team, but there is also a strong execution on the men's team. In, their, the meet, in the events that they were able to swim. Yeah, I mean, we swam some really good races. Um, you know, Zach swam, at, uh, his two fly was at 213, which, you know, we had we'd hoped to go around 212, so swimming at 213 was great. And again, the way he swam it was just really smart. And it's almost, you know, self-gratifying to me mm -hmm. to know that the kids are embracing what, um, what we're trying to do. And it's, it's evident in, in, again, how we swam, you know, on Saturday, Ben swam a great 200 free. Um, you know, Matt swam a great 200 breast. Steven swam a really nice 100 free. And, again, this, this splits tell you everything. And, and, again, he swam just – he swam a great race. Now, that those great races that you, you had across the board, um, so to speak, at, at King's College, now looking forward into the Diamond City Invitational. It's going to be a deeper – field than what you're used to with these dual meets and tri meets that you've been having so far over the season um does this performance at king's college does that bring some momentum and optimism into the work week before headed to that diamond city invitational yeah i definitely i definitely think it does um you know the kids actually got to pick the the events that they want to swim for this weekend um some of the the teams are going to be rested and some of the teams are going to be shaved some of the teams are going to be suited um, we won't be any of those things. Um, but again, you know, for the kids, it's a chance to swim really fast kids, um, build off the momentum that we did this week, um, learn from what we did this past week, and then kind of push ourselves to, to swim faster, you know, this coming weekend than we did the week before. Well, Coach, we'll wish you the best of luck, and we'll be looking for those results on Saturday. And uh, hopefully, you know, people swim smart again. Great. Thank you, Joe. He's John Stoltrager. I'm Joe Wamba, and this has been the John Stoltrager Show.